Hey guys, Paul Shirey, JoeBlow.com here at CinemaCon. Just got out of the Universal presentation and we saw quite a few uh, really cool things, but I'm going to talk about one of them right now. The first is Halloween. So, uh, all of you are obviously fans of Halloween. You'd be crazy not to. Uh, John Carpenter's original is without a doubt one of the classic horror, scary movies of all time. Uh, and we all know that they're coming back now, finally, with this. We weren't quite sure what it was. Is it a sequel? Is it a reboot? Is What is it? Uh, it's basically, it's a direct sequel to the first film. So, kind of is just ignoring everything that happened from two on. Uh, it's also directed by David Gordon Green and co-written by Danny McBride, which is the strangest kind of creative team you would expect on a Halloween movie, but again, kind of perfect at the same time, much like, you know, these revival shows like Cobra Kai and whatnot, you're getting, you know, people that grew up with these films that are fans and also, you know, talented filmmakers in their own right, taking on these properties that they've always had a passion for, and I, I can say you can really feel it uh, with Halloween. Now, Jason Blum came out and he introduced it. He brought out uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, who was super enthusiastic. She said that she took the role uh, of Laurie Strode, playing it again uh, immediately. She just, she knew that John Carpenter was producing. She felt that the story was great. Uh, she was really into it. Uh, she says it's gonna be, uh, quote, hella scary. Uh, beyond that, um, she gave a little detail, a little insight into what the story is. And basically, this is 40 years after Halloween and it's the night, the anniversary of uh, the whole thing from 40 years ago. And she has basically become a warrior. She's, kind of, she's gone full Sarah Connor, uh, if you will. And so she's not the victim anymore. She's not afraid. She's actually been preparing uh, to confront Michael again. And anyways, we see at the beginning of the trailer, we see Michael in the institution and these documentary filmmakers are coming to talk to him and basically they kind of reignite his fire by showing him the mask again. Uh, and that's enough to get him to basically break free and get out. And there's some great beats in the trailer I don't want to ruin. Uh, I, I just won't spoil it until you get to see it, but there's some really, really cool stuff in there. But the best thing about all of it is that it feels like, it feels like Halloween. They've made so many movies so many sequels in, in the two reboot films, the reboot and the reboot sequel, but they never quite got that spirit uh, of the original. Um, it really stands on its own, but this really does look, again, it's just from a trailer, so take that for what it's worth, but just based on that alone, it feels like the scares are genuine, it feels like the setting is genuine, and it feels like there's a real passion uh, and a real fire behind this project than we've seen in any of the other ones that came before, which always had a slant or an angle or some new thing they were trying to do. This one instead is not trying to do anything new. It's, it's, well, it's as Jamie Lee Curtis said, it's new school meets old school. Um, and she said, it's, I mean, she's assuredly it's gonna be scary. And I can say that the trailer is genuinely scary. It's really, really good, so. Uh, if you're a fan of Halloween, if you're nervous about Halloween, you're not quite sure, uh, from my perspective, from what I saw, and from Jamie Lee Curtis and Jason Blum talking about it, I, I think they got the right team together, and I think this is going to be finally a proper sequel to Halloween. Uh, pretty much the one that we've all been waiting for for a really long time, uh, and they've tried for decades, but this might be it. We'll see.